Jordan, are you sure you have no idea where my Uncle H.I. is? He's been gone for weeks. I told you, Chip. I was telling him June was tweeting about having a baby and he disappeared. He doesn't care about June. She still sees him tweet. What happened before that? Well, Rachel tweeted something about setting a wedding date. Oh, no, you don't think he finally managed to kill himself, do you? Jordan, he's been trying for weeks. I thought he was just kidding to make us feel bad about making him a squirrel. But now that I think about it, he wasn't acting himself that day. Well, if something did happen to him, we need to find his newer technotronics implant so we can bring him back as a new rodent again to support his woman. Hey, maybe my uncle sweet angel Michelle put a tracking device in his implant. If we call him, maybe she can help us find it. I wouldn't count on it, Chip. Michelle doesn't think science and sequins mix. I don't think she's going to want to do anything to help your uncle support Rachel. She's just jealous because my uncle likes his woman better than his sweet angel. Maybe so, Chip, but I think we'd better face the fact that your uncle's not coming back this time. Well, if my uncle's not going to be here to support his woman, we need to continue my uncle's Amazing Race commentaries in his memory. Come on, Jordan. CJ's Amazing Race Commentaries. Unfortunately, it looks like HR is no longer with us, so Chip and I will be continuing HR's commentaries in his absence. But first, to honor my missing uncle, a moment of silent reflection. If we know those aren't dead, you idiots. They've just been eliminated. Uncle HR! Where have you been, HR? None of your business, squirrel. We thought you were dead, Uncle HR! Do I look dead to you? You look better. Yeah, HR, you look worn out like you've been. I haven't got time for this. Let's do my smart ass remarks. Bavaria is Germany's largest state and the start of the sixth leg. Oh look, housekeeping's already been by to clean up after the bean chaser. In the last leg, Art and JJ came in first. You are team number one. Yeah! And won a vacation from Travelocity. Thailand looks like absolute paradise. You have your own pool. That would be cool at night to have dinner there. Me and the gnome are going to be kicking it right yeah. there. <laughs> Art, you do remember that gnome's been up JJ's ass. Teams must now fly more than 2,000 miles to Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. Located on the edge of the Caspian Sea, Azerbaijan is a former Soviet republic rich in oil and natural gas, giving it the name the Land of Fire. What a coincidence. The bean chasers are rich in natural gas, too. That's how they keep their heads inflated. Yeah, but they don't have a cool name like Land of Fire. Maybe we should change their names to the Flaming Assholes. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Henceforth, the bean chasers will be known as the Flaming Assholes. Carrier Jack. Are you serious? Take it. You're being stupid. I'm being stupid. This is your jackass idea. The last leg, obviously, we weren't very nice to each other. Yeah, it was great. Do more of that and finish last this time. We need to get into Azerbaijan as quickly as possible. possible. You want to come with us? What? No, no, no. Shot down again. Apparently, the word has already gotten around Germany about those cows you slept with last night. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Bob. <laughs> Bill Earnhardt is behind the wheel. There's a dead guy driving your cab? Yeah, he knows where all the dead end streets are. It's like a hoedown for you, right? Dear Lord, don't let this turn into big booty. Don't let this turn into big booty. Is that Mary I see between your woman and her man? Hmm, so it is. In this fast forward, teams make their way to this roadside hay market where local growers sell hay to the farmers in the area. Once there, they must unload 150 bales of hay and stack them 10 across, 3 wide, 5 high. The first team to correctly stack their hay wins the fast forward. Art and I have already done a fast forward. The rules say that once you've done a fast forward, we can't do another one. Yep. Probably just as well, because you two would have eaten more hay than you would have stacked. It looks like Dave and Rachel are ahead of us, going to do the fast forward, and they're not beating us. we got to beat them. Do those sheep look nervous to you, Squirrel? They must know the Guidodos are coming. This guy is driving like an absolute maniac. I just hope you don't go to getting too loose with me because we're going to have some stuff of spewing. This is better than NASCAR, man. These guys are insane. <coughs> Anytime my partner is in the back seat, they better be a barf bike around. <coughs> If I get a little sick, I just get a little sick. It's better than us trying to navigate ourselves, let me tell you. Poor Mark, he's over there hurling in the back. That's funny, that poor dude. Hey, Mark, save that for the flaming assholes. They'll be looking for a snack later. Yummy. 
Babe. I need a hand. Coming down. <sighs> no, I'm not. Dave. <sighs> and this is where Dave bombarded Rachel with a bale of hay like she was an Al-Qaeda terrorist on the run. Ten by three by five. That's good? That's good. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my man. Thank you, thank You're you, the thank, man. You, thank you, thank you. Bro, they got it. We gotta leave. We gotta leave. Crap. Careful, hothead. You might set the hay on fire. We're going to the pool. Go get him. Don't panic. I know. Don't panic. Me and JJ and Jamie had to get in a, a helicopter and simulator like a helicopter had landed in water. Is it going to go up and spin? It's going to go under. Now it's been over. Well, she's been in the water anyway. So she's so busy. Probably a bad brush on it. Can you tell you? Mm-hmm. When y'all was doing hard work? When y'all was doing all y'all's problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Papa went over to make sure y'all was on the road. I said, Papa, what are you doing that for? Well, I just wanted to put my two cents in. So funny. <laughs> Congratulations, Jamie. Pinky and No-Brain are barely out of the race, and Bopper already has a new Padunkadunk to watch. Yours. I couldn't get the window open, and I started to panic. I swallowed some water. Not enough. The real downside of this roadblock was that we couldn't tell if JJ wet himself. Oh, he did. I noticed the water level in the pool got higher. What? That doesn't make any sense, H.R. Huh? That would totally defy the laws of physics. Shut up, squirrel. How you feeling? Thank God I got out of there. That's not a good feeling. Now you know how we feel watching you two assholes every week. Welcome to Baku, Azerbaijan. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Congratulations, Rachel and Dave. You are team number one. Congratulations. And Rachel is still picking hay out of her cooch. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> So what do you do? You go in there, you capsize, and then you have to save your damn self. Don't die. What's this? Mistress Vanessa being civil to Rachel? I didn't think she had it in her. I guess she's not such a bitch when she thinks she's about to die. I have a really strange fear of closed-in spaces and being underwater. I know Ralph could just breeze through this. That's because of all the training you've given him confining him to a box when you're done playing with him at night. My happy ass got out really fast. Good job, babe. She did it. She's gonna be pretty pissed that her hair's wet. <laughs> and guess who she's gonna take it out on? Enjoy your night in the box, Gimp. This is so wrong. It's so right, many right, get his feet. This get his feet. Is, Come on, we're gonna get him in the shower. You're right. You two should quit the race now and go back to terrorizing Mexicans. There's nothing color-wise that matches up. Are you sure? Hello. Oh, my God. We are buffoons. Are you kidding me? Maybe if the clues had sequins on them, they might be easier for you two to find. <laughs> Boys, y'all sound like y'all having too much fun over there. <laughs> what the hell is going on in my life? He thinks thou does protesteth too much. I'm just amazed the flaming assholes didn't accidentally light this guy on fire. Get in his junk, Art! Get in his junk! A phrase heard way too much by the unfortunate illegals apprehended by these two. We decided to come play with some more fruit. Okay, who put the rotten road apple in the trunk? Now all those apples are gonna go bad. I don't think he minds that I'm rubbing him all over. You know who minds? Brenda. You find anything, babe? Nope. Quick, somebody close it before she gets out. Okay, it's not in the trunk. Okay. Oh. He's either yelling at us to go faster or something about Vanessa melons. I don't think you can even see my melons. <laughs> Nobody can see your face. Girl, come on. <laughs> what does it look like, Ralph? What does it look like? This is the big album. Come on. Congratulations, pigs, on successfully completing the challenge without putting a single apple in your mouths. Unfortunately, the same is true about Mistress Vanessa. Joey Fitness and Danny, I am sorry to tell you that you are the last team to arrive. And I'm sorry to tell you that you're being eliminated from the race. How you feeling? I'm kind of disappointed, man. I think we could have won this race. We just made one mistake. And that one mistake was entering the race. And with that, the Guidotos are redone done. French will finish the respectable fourth, and I'm out of here. Oh, Chip, I almost forgot. I need you to take down the collage of my box and redecorate. Maybe a nice woodland scene this time. See you two next week. What was that all about? I have a bad feeling about this, Chip. Something's just not right. Yeah, what kind of jerk only gives a designer a week to redecorate? <laughs>